shoot! I've got stuff I haven't shown you for, I have probably had something from Essence for like two months. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South, no intro, no outro, it's just this ho. Something just came apart on a package here. It just keeps doing that. Anyhow, hi! I'm just all discombobulated. I just went to give the mower his check. Okay, it's cash, but I just went to give him his pay and I did that goofy thing where you step off a step but you miss the second step and then... <sighs> so, not only am I embarrassed, my back is killing me and I wish my back was killing me for a great reason. So, the other day I did a mother haul video which everybody watched I'm so glad you did oh my god thank you and I do believe that I have a video <laughs> called confessions of a shopaholic I'll probably do that for the thumbnail but what I'm really showing is stuff that was downstairs in my staging area it's actually like a bench or a lounge chase lounge sort of thing that we have beside the door when packages come in things get piled there until they come up to this room Room. Girl, Bill told me last night, he was like, you need to get your boxes and your stuff out of that room. And I was like, I know. So I went down there and was like, oh shoot. I've got stuff I haven't shown you for, I have probably had something from Essence for like two months. Two whole months. Okay. And then Dawn, I am blaming you for this long champ purchase. Long champ. Yes. So let's get into this. So Essence. It's S-S-E-N-S-E, -S -E -S -E, right? It's a very cool site. They do discount things, but you kind of have to watch. Sometimes a few things are over list, and then sometimes things are way under. Like I went to look at, uh, so I bought a pair of Golden Goose. I've only had two shopping experiences with Essence. Both were good. The first thing that I bought a couple years ago was my first round with the Golden Goose Obsession. I was in that hard girl speaking of, no seriously I was in hardcore so I have since sold those because they were a funky size and they kept flopping off my feet but I got a really good deal I want to say I got them for maybe half of what normally a golden goose sneaker sells for today I know so I was very you know like oh I'm excited and then I don't know why in my shopping obsession the last few months I've just gone to different places looking for deals maybe people have done hauls I don't know what brought it up but I did click on it oh I know what it was I was searching I was doing a search and something popped up from that website and I was like let me go in here and look at this again wait she isn't okay pretty hi look at you gorgeous sitting over there let's dance you know what was that I was like that bitch you know okay so I bought two shirts and this shirt was $55 and it is a designer collab type shirt <laughs> type of thing and it is by a designer and it's called Ami Ami Amy <laughs> it's not Amy it's A-M-I and I have seen people I know that Connor has a shirt like this or a sweater or something that looks really cute on him I'm not saying it's gonna look as cute on me but I'm gonna give it the old college try girl and I have seen a couple of youtubers I want to say Cassie and Caitlin maybe both had this kind of shirt I don't know if it's still a thing but I think it's cute and it's huge it is actually way big because I didn't know you know design Designer sizes are not like really in touch with real plus size women. I'm just gonna put it out there. So I have to order a men's for one thing. And usually if they go up to, I know that Versace does this like four or five X. I always get like a four or a five X because in reality a four or five X would fit someone who is, you know, four or 500 pounds, right? But in reality and designer sizing, right? Am I making sense here? Is this, is this coming through guys? Yeah, in reality the designer 
advertising is way effed up. It is just bizarre. And part of it is, I guess, because this is maybe a French brand. I want to say the guy is French, the designer that does this. And that's his name. I think his last name is Ami or whatever. Christian, maybe? Christian Ami? Maybe. Don't quote me on that. But the thing about this is they did a collab, which is, I think, a more affordable way for you to buy this brand or this luxury whatever house, I guess, if you want to call it. They did it a collaboration with Puma, the sneaker, the athletic wear. Yes. And this shirt literally was $55. Let me tell you what this is. This is an EU double XL in men's. Not so bad, but guys, usually I think it's just because they paired up with Puma because I bought another one that was just the brand. Girl, I bought the same size thinking, all right, it's going to be huge. No, ma'am. She just goes around me. That's a, it's a video filming shirt. <laughs> it's not one of those you can wear out. Unless she does get on this thing and lose some more weight. I need to. But I was going to see what the MSRP... Oh, they have it marked out. Ah, uh, wow, Essence. And Essence puts their own little tag on there. So, I don't know. Is this some more of the gray market stuff? But yeah, they have the MSRP. I'd be interested to know what it is full price. I think that the site said it was like $150 or something. But I paid $55 for it. I thought it was cute. I love like it because it's kind of purple, kind of pink, but not really making a commitment to either one. But yeah, I just think this is a cute little whatever. And for an athletic shirt, it's amazing. And also that it's a designer collab shirt, $55. Come on. Hello. I love t-shirts and this had to go on my list of. When I opened this, I was like, holy crap. And I put it on over the shirt that I had. And I was like, wow, this might even be just a sleep shirt. But yeah, it is ample enough enough. Now, let's switch to this one. This I already hung up. I like the stripe pattern on this. I think it's really cute. I want to say that I got this for like $125 or something. It wasn't bad at all. And I think these shirts, if you go on like Nordstrom and other, you know, big department stores, I want to say that they, some of the stuff is like four or $500. Okay, so here's what I was saying. This one says it's a triple XL because I was like, I don't know. I got lucky on the pink or purple or lavender or whatever it is. Sure, but I'm not so sure. And I'm telling you, it looks huge, but when I put it on, it literally sucks to me. Like, <laughs> And that's the last thing you want to suck in is a daggone shirt. Seriously, not me. I'm not the one. I don't wear tight things like a busted can of Pillsbury biscuits. No, ma'am. That's not what I want to go around looking like. But when you guys just see me from here up, I think this will be okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's done some things from where you guys can. Okay, just enough said. <laughs> I don't even know why I told y'all that, but this one is really cute. The only thing I worry about is washing this because it's such a red and this is the, I don't want it to bleed on that. So I might dry clean only. I just thought this was a good deal too. This is my first foray into this brand. My second foray into Essence. I will link the site for you to go over and peruse and see. Now, mind you, I've had these a couple months, so they probably still have something, but I don't know. I haven't looked in a while. But anyway, I just wanted to show you these because I should have already done an unboxing. All right, let's move on to L'Enchant. This is what kept popping off when I was trying to do my intro. These little, why? What, what is, why, why did y'all do that? So Dawn is to blame. Dawn is the culprit on this. Of course, she sent me this. This is supposedly a collab, which kind of we thought was just a, like a spoof, like a joke, but apparently it's a real thing. Longchamp did with a brand called, are you ready? Toilet paper? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I even tried to Google is like, is that a thing? Or did they use like, I don't know where the toilet paper thing came from. I wish I did research. I tried to look it up earlier before this video. I was like, well, maybe I'll do some due diligence and go and look. Oh, but this one's gonna actually stick. You bitch. Are you serious? Let's see. Okay. I love their little bags. Sometimes you get a little envelope box. But this is a tiny, tiny thing. It's not that big. Oh, yeah. Dawn, thank you very much. I just thought this little mother effer was so cute. And it was so me, right? <laughs> 
Okay, here you go. You guys ready? Ta -da! This is my newest Longchamp pouch right? Dawn also, she did, I'm going to link her video down below, but she did a video where she does these encasements from a company. I can't pronounce the name of it. It's a French, I believe it's a French brand. You know me. I can do some French things, but I can't speak French. Just saying. Nice. This is totally cute. It is a collab with Longchamp and toilet paper. Yes, I don't know. I have no idea. I know what toilet paper is, but what is it? Okay, so on the back, does it even say? No, it's just got the Longchamp and everything branding, but look how cute. Let me come up and see. It's a banana with two people licking each end of the banana. Like, could there have been a pouch tailor-made for me? So, I love the color. The color is amazing. The graphic is yes. So, I was thinking back to my point about Dawn doing the encasement video, going to that company and getting, they make these little cute, right? And it crossbodies. It makes a crossbody out of the single pouch. I know. I don't know why I'm always like, I've got to crossbody it. And then I end up like top handling most things. So, go figure. She's crazy like that. But this is the cutest thing. It's your basic. I thought this was black, but underneath it looks looks navy, so maybe this is a navy. I don't know, though. Gosh, I can't tell, guys. I'm not really sure. I think that does look a little dark, so I think it is black. I'm trying to figure out which strap thing adapter that I should buy. Should I buy yellow to match this? They don't have a blue like this, so that's out. Or should I just buy black that matches? Probably just match the leather, right? Okay. Yeah, guys, I think so. Tell me down in the comments. So it says toilet... <laughs> This is so cute. Okay. I don't know what this is all about. I really don't. Guys, if you do, please tell me. But I'm assuming... <laughs> yeah, it says made in France from recycled polyester. And it does say... Let's see if I can get that. It's, it's a very heavy duty, like canvasy type material, but I guess that's polyester. It says right here, proofs in the pudding. I don't want to talk about pudding and toilet paper. Like, no. Nah. But check it out. Yeah, so it says toilet paper, long chomp. Yeah, so it really says like toilet chomp, long paper. What? <laughs> okay. I love, I think it's totally cute. Yeah, and this was the cheapest thing that they had to, but to me, it was the cutest thing. I just loved this whole thing. I just loved it. And I do have another pouch. It's down here somewhere. That's just like this, that's red, that I do like to carry. Surprisingly enough, it does fit a lot of things. Go figure, right? But anyway, that is basically what all I have for you. That just, you know, it's confessions of a shopaholic, guys. I know. I say this and then I have to backtrack, but you probably won't see me hauling too much, but I do have some major purchases that I am on the fence about one thing because it was so damn expensive. I am really panic selling to try to pay for it. And then half of me's like, just send it back. That's crazy. What were you thinking? But then I'll probably get it, fall in love, and there I will be, you know. So, oh, I know, I know guys. It really is confessions of a shopaholic. I'm over here like pouring my heart out to you because she's got some issues. It's a little out of control. I won't say, I don't know what it is. If it's the extra marketing, I just don't know. The fact that people are getting rid of a lot of things and, and the, the things are more affordable than usually, or if just my brain, I don't know if it's the stress. And I really, I feel like I'm not as stressed out. I'm actually like way more calmed down in the last year than I have been. Well, I'll, I won't say year, but since the first of 2023 than I have since like 2019. I just, you know, my job is good. Always when you say that though, something happens, right? Shh, don't say it. Never mind throw away the key. But yeah, I don't know why my shopping has gone as crazy. Could be where I'm trying to like micromanage my diet over this Nash disease diagnosis that I got. And so when one thing gets in check, I feel like another thing goes crazy. But the worst thing that it could be is my spending because no, we can't. She's got to stop. So anyway, I say that all the time and then it's just don't stop. Come back. Wait. Call the police. You know, coulda, woulda. Shoulda.
All right, thank you for listening to my ending rant. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little all over the place, but I will link, I will link things down below if you're like me and you want to shop or if you just want to look at some things. I always have some stuff linked in my box. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I will be back here in a couple days with something fabulous, I'm sure. Look at me like not knowing really what she's going to do or talk about. That happens a lot, guys. I just go in here and like, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> if you'll do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and like this video, comment down below. And also do me a huge favor. If y'all see my husband girl, oh my God, don't tell him nothing. Bye. So I'm thinking about going back to this bag, but also y'all know that I have a bag coming or maybe by the time you actually see this video go up, I've unboxed the other bag because things are up in the air. We don't know when things are coming or going or what's going on. So anyway, when I do get back in this bag, because let's face it, she's a friggin' baller, right? I got this from Etsy the other day too. It took forever to get here, so I imagine it either came from China or Nope, didn't have the hydroxyfufu smell. Or people actually make them as you order them. You know, they have one of those little laser cut machines. I don't know. It's kind of like a Safiano leather and it comes with this. I'm not sure that I'm crazy about this little hangy thing, but what do you guys think? It's W for my name. Yeah, in case you guys were like, what, what's the W for? It's for Winnie. Anyway, or should I just leave the cherries? The cherries are so cute. But I couldn't decide one night and they were so cheap. I think it was like $11. This was like $11. So I was like, man, I'm gonna get them both. I could take when I carry this one again because I will be getting back into this one. Yeah, definitely I don't know which one. I need you guys's, what do you think? Okay, thanks. I am not going to wear a tight shirt. I mean, I'll wear it for you guys, but that's it. And maybe I'll send around some pictures, but that's all. Oh, Biatch. <laughs>